Yeah? Hello, Facebook. Hello. We are, uh, we're here for our uh, Facebook Live with the amazing cast of the new comedy, uh, Swedish Dicks, which will premiere on Pop TV Wednesday, August 9th with two back-to-back -back episodes at 8 p.m. Very exciting. Let me introduce the cast, this amazing and international cast. It's the, uh, the United Colors of Dicks, as I like to say. <laughs> but we have, uh, of course, the two Swedish dicks, Peter Stormar and Johan Glan back Hello. there. We've got two Americans. We've got Tracy Lords and Felicia Cooper. Hi. Uh, we've got a Canadian and Keanu Reeves, fellow Canadian and Keanu Reeves. And uh, originally from South Korea, uh, Vivian Bang. So here's the amazing cast. But I'm, Ameri be... I'm American now. That's so right. I'm <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're here to answer your questions. So uh, we have some uh, that, uh, that people asked yesterday that I'll start with, but uh, um, also please send some in live as we're here and we will, uh, we will try to get to them. Um, I will start though, just to get things going with, uh, with my own question, and that is, uh, uh, Peter, you know, when, uh, you know, as the, uh, I'm the president of Pop TV, that I introduced that myself originally, when you and I first were negotiating for this, uh, what, uh, what intrigued me so much, what I love so much about the show is how original and different it is. And, and too often people say that. But uh, in television, there are a ton of procedurals. Uh, in television, there are a ton of serialized um, shows. Um, but I don't think in all of television today there is a procedural comedy, um, which I think is just very, very unique. Of course, there's, a, there's an overarching storyline that you can get into. But um, uh, above how you play with film noir, how it's hysterically funny, how it's this amazing cast, all of those things make the show special. But the fact that it's this procedural comedy, I think, is really, really original. So what was the inspiration for the show, and uh, how did it all come together? The inspiration to the show came in a dream. I woke up, and it was like a flaming pie with a dick on. A Swedish dick was on that pie. I woke up, I wrote it down, I scribbled it down, and when I later woke up, it said Swedish dick, and I started working, <laughs> and I said, that name won't fly. So um, then I added another Swede, Joan, to the show, and it became the Swedish dick. But it was, it came, it came out of nowhere, really. It just hit me one day, and because I've been working on the show, like a little crime drama, but with humor, based on humor, but it should be crime. And this just came one, one day, and I started working on it. But it was one hour drama, but we scaled it down to a half hour drama, comedy, and concentrate on the comedy, and the drama would come in secondary, and uh, be very character driven. Have great talent on board, that the people who are watching can invest their souls into and follow them. And of course, a lot of Twin Peaks and Monty Python. <laughs> <laughs> Twin Peaks yeah. beats Monty Python. And how did this amazing cast come together? How did you uh, kind of pull this off? By being on my knees and begging <laughs> and begging and begging and begging and begging and uh, some through auditions, but mainly it's a hand-picked ensemble that all responded positive. And uh, unfortunately, this show would never have taken off in the way it did if these two people hadn't responded so positive, and also Vivian and my Felicia, which played my daughter, and Joan didn't come on board saying, okay. I, I was surprised that all of them, which is the, my first approach, came on board and said, we want to support you in this, and let's do this together. Because there's a lot of rejection in this town, and I was so surprised with the result, you know, with the feedback I got. I've been very, very lucky. Awesome. All right, well now let's get to uh, the Facebook community. We'll start with uh, a question from, this is an amazing name, it's his, gorgeous name, Tiziana Porfido. And uh, her question is, how can the actors on the series move so easily from one genre to another? And I love this question because, you know, Peter, of course, we know you from American Gods and, and Fargo, and, and Tracy, we know you from Melrose Place, and, and Keanu, obviously, from John Wick, and the Matrix movies, and Bold and the Beautiful, you know, uh, 
uh, soap and and Johan, you've done a lot of, uh, of stand-up, and Vivian, you're probably the only one with recent sitcom experience, but all of you are coming to this kind of genre that's not the most recent thing you've done. So uh, let's start with you, Tracy, uh, coming to a, a comedy like this. Well, I've done actually a lot of comedy in my career, but not as much as I would write. I think more often than not, I'm, I'm offered things that are more dramatic. Um, so when the script was sent to me, you can't not read it something sent to you called Swedish Sticks, and it came with a lovely letter from Peter saying, I have this idea, and I think that you're the only person that can play this part, and would you, would you read it? And I just, I laughed and laughed and said, I have to do this, and I was a huge, I am a huge fan of Peter's and his work and his integrity and who he is, and then the people just started um, coming together on the project, and the cast just grew, and it's just become this really incredible thing, and it's just such a delight to be able to do comedy because it is a true love of mine. So. All right. And Felicia, coming from a soap to uh, a comedy? Um, well, a soap opera, all the drama in there is funny to begin <laughs> with. So um, I, I was actually more surprised to get the soap role than to get Swedish Dicks because I'm naturally like silly, goofy, loud person. So tackling that was a little harder. This just came to me, just like ran through my veins like blood. And just seems so natural and wonderful to play. But they are, it is two completely different worlds. And to get on that set and have that genre and come over here. So it's different, but it's not necessarily more challenging, if that makes sense. Yes. I'm just comfortable and sink right into it. All right. And Keanu, coming from... Uh... Yeah, I've done some comedy in the past. And it's uh, um, so it was really fun to come back and do some comedy. Um, Swedish Dicks has a really uh, particular tone. I mean, it's, it's obviously has different kinds of references to it, and you could make comps to it, but it really guides you in its tone. I mean, it's, it's, there's always, as Peter said, really strong character. Um, it's emotional. All the characters are kind of striving for something or want something, um, looking for something. Um, and then the situations are sometimes absurd in how they express themselves. Um, so I really like the... The, the tone of the show. It's really particular, it's very funny, and it's also got heart. So. Awesome. And Vivian? Um, I didn't know this was a comedy. <laughs> <laughs> when you get the script, it's like Swedish it. dicks. What did you think? Soft porn. Um, <laughs> no, uh, yeah. I mean, this is, it's not like coming from sitcom world. Um, there, there are no like boom, boom, set up jokes mm -hmm. in the script. It's not that kind of, you know, it's, it's very, like Peter said, like character driven. You're kind of invested in the characters, and sometimes you don't even know what you're watching. You know, you kind of go down this adventure, and you're like, "What is happening?" But you don't. It's almost like you're just kind of in there for the ride, and yeah, it's free falling. <laughs> and Johan, going from uh, from stand up into a scripted comedy. Yeah, I've, I've, I've been doing a lot of scripted comedy back home in Sweden. I've written a lot of comedy too. So for me, this is for the first time I get to run around with a fight. That's the, that's the exciting part for me. Awesome. And get the girl. And, right. and get to yeah. and get the girl. Get the All right, there's a question from Sharon Shin from the Facebook uh, community. Uh, Peter, <coughs> how did you come up with the unique name for the show? Uh, uh, I think I just said Dave. <coughs> just did another you? story now, a different one. Yeah. I was buying Swedish fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why don't we have... We see you doing it that way. No, it's a, it's it, it started as as a me on my own experience as an actor and dropping out of the acting world and going on into PI to become a private dick, playing around with that idea and I called it the Swedish Dick and it sounded boring, so I added another sweet and it sounded great, Swedish Dick. And from there. All right, so here's a question coming in live from Jenny Wirtz. Uh, so I guess this is for you, Johan, and, and Peter. When you're speaking Swedish on the show, is it actual dialogue or silly nonsense? Oh, it's actual dialogue. <laughs> oh, it's serious <laughs> Swedish <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> 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 Sounds like silly. The language of Vikings and kings. It, no, it's, it's uh, actual dialogue. Yeah, in front of a client, we can say, do you trust that bitch? And he says, well, look at her jewelry. She's got a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's take the case then. So it's great for a couple of detectives to have a secret. It's a code language. A secret weapon. And she said, what the hell are you talking about? No, nothing. We need to put a 
another quarter in the year. <laughs> my, so my plan was we should only, all the curses should be in Swedish. So the only time you ever see like subtitles would be shit. <laughs> <laughs> Which in Swedish is shit. Yeah, so that's so a good the, example. As the loser, <laughs> Not a good example. Here. is there any Swedish that I need to worry about censoring out, or are we going to be okay? Uh, be okay? Yeah, every, everything's fine in Swedish. It's too late now. <laughs> Live. All right, um, Tracy, what was the most interesting part, oh, sorry, from Pauline Wu uh, on Facebook. What was the most interesting part of the script that hooked you to the project? Uh, the most interesting part of the script. I think what hooked me to the project was just, it, it, what a gift it, is it to, to be able to play a boss lady that is just, you know, she's a little bit of a dragon lady and she's fearless and strong and all of those things and just the idea of being pitted against Peter was it was it you know very um, very fun a lot of fun for me. Josh and Vivian, same question. Yeah, this show has a lot of like powerful ladies. All the all the women are really empowered and kind of leaders and bossy. bossy. Yeah, <laughs> bossy, bossy. Yeah. Uh, okay, so here's another live question coming in from Steffi L. Uh, so uh, a lot of you are idols and inspirations for a whole bunch of fans uh, out there. So who are your idols? Um, why don't we start with Alicia? Probably know you're going to be second sensitive. You know why? Because you seem to, I want to give everyone else a chance to think oh. about it. Okay. <laughs> I was just acting ready. I got, I got front audience right here. Um, oh gosh. Um, Viola Davis, Meryl Streep, obviously you can't go wrong. Um, I love Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, I love Will Smith. Um, oh, RDJ, Robert Downey Jr., heck yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say this guy, but I want to see too, too much. Like, I guess I <laughs> um, Sandra Bullock. Oh, my gosh. Halle Berry. Just classics. Yeah. Right. Well, Sandra Bullock, my head's only going one direction. So, Keanu, who are your <laughs> that's a great speed movie? Uh, well, who are some of your idols? Um, let's see. Idols. I'll speak about uh, idols, I guess, when I was a kid. Um, certainly, is, you know, I, I grew up in that kind of. Um, 70s movies, movies like Peter O'Toole and mm -hmm. um, what else? I don't know. <laughs> That's a good one. Let's just go there. Right? Okay. My favorite year. And just yeah, that gives. Yeah. Awesome. Lawrence of Arabia. All right, Tracy. Who are some of your idols? Um, maybe obvious to people, like John Waters is one of my idols. Uh, of course. Because I, I just love the fact that he created this whole persona and this whole career and made movies with his friends and people that he loved. And he was an underdog and he was gay in the 50s and he started on Super 8 and it was truly, you know, innovative and, and making magic. And of course, Divine, who changed the world with who he was and the way that people perceived of, you know, actors and just, uh, there's so many, there's so many. Peter? Well, in the book, <coughs> in the book it says, I shall have no idols. <laughs> and, but if I have to mention one, uh, <laughs> it would be this ensemble mm -hmm. together with John Lennon. But, he's not John Lennon. but this ensemble is currently my uh, idol. Me too. Gotcha. Um, okay, have any of you worked together before? <coughs> or do any of your cast, have you ever, any of you known one another from before? Not a day. Peter and I have worked together a couple times, a few yeah. times. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's all. Well, that's it. By the way, I know that. I knew that Constantine and John Wick too. And uh, all right, Rita B. Uh, how we kind of covered this? How how is how did everyone get involved in the show? So, Vivian, you kind of hit on this a little bit before, but how did you get involved in the show? You got the script, you thought soft porn, and then yeah. So I read it, and I, you know. Um, you know, being an actor, we read so many scripts, so you can kind of tell within the first, like, five minutes, you know, five pages into the script, like, you know, is it terrible or isn't it? If it's, like, terrible or bad or Painful. okay, you know, I mean, those are the levels of scripts I read. It's like, how bad is this? Um, no. Uh, but, yeah, I, re I read the script, and immediately I was like, I'll do it. I mean, I think... Um, very, very 
very funny show, but in a very like intelligent, um, you know, different, different way, yeah. different world. Right. Johan, same question. How did you get involved? Uh, they just called me back home in Sweden. I was, now I was out buying guinea pigs for my kids <laughs> when the phone, <laughs> phone rang, and they asked me, uh, told me about this, yeah. and uh, I said, sure. So they sent me a script, and I read it and uh, laughed a lot. And so, especially my wife said, "We have to do this. You have to do it." She said. Right. So. Okay. So last question. This is uh, an uh, anonymous one from uh, live from Facebook. Uh, who is a better private investigator, men or women? Women. And that's a great question <laughs> because in the series there's competing private investigator firms. Yeah. Uh, one led by Tracy Lord, the yes. one the Swedish dicks up there, and then who of any of you will confess to have ever hiring a private investigator? Hmm. Hmm. I have never hired one, but I have had one hired to search no. <laughs> me. No, it's true. Because I'm Korean, beware, do not ever date Korean men. Because they have Korean <laughs> mothers who are like crazy. No. But this is a true story. I've had, wow. I've had a private investigator hired not to research just me, but my parents. Oh to my see if God. I was marriage material worthy. So you went a little method in the show. Yeah. <laughs> so I had, I had ammo. <laughs> All right. um, is that it? Are we good? All right. So again, uh, what network's it on, Peter? It's Pop TV. Right. Pop TV. Wednesday, Pop TV. Uh, Wednesday, August 9th, back-to-back -back episodes at 8 p.m. Thank you all. Bye. 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 Thank you.